What do you make of the, the British mainstream media? Do you ever watch BBC, Channel 4 News, any of these things at all? What do you make I watch clips on Twitter. I, I wouldn't sit down and watch a whole broadcast. Um, it's, it's really horrendous, the fact that... I mean, it was Channel 4 recently that had the, an actual jihadist. They gave him a platform. It wasn't the first time they've done that. Um, the interactions I have with them, as we mentioned earlier, they've occasionally invited my, me on, but that's stopped now. Um, I don't. I don't really watch any mainstream media at all at this point, apart from clips, which I respond to on the internet. So, I mean, if if it doesn't interest me, if somebody who's interested and basically obsessed is a news junkie, then that kind of explains why why their platform is sinking. So, th the mainstream media to me is a massive joke. The fact that they still hold up this pretense of neutrality. They still pretend to be non-biased reporters. It's like, I admit, I'm completely biased. I have an opinion, I wear it on my sleeve. Yeah, I'm not a news reporter, I'm a commentator, but the fact that they have reporters, people like the guy at the BBC, John Sopel, is it, and these other people that, that work in America and cover Trump, and they get up, uh, Laura Kussenberg, the BBC woman who's the political editor there, they get up and they're not, they're not commentators. Like if you come out and say, I'm a commentator, this is my view, fair enough. But they're like political editors. They're supposed to be right down the line. And they get up at press conferences with Trump and say, what about this? What about this person calling you a racist or whatever? They're towing that narrative. Like stop pretending to be neutral. We know you're not nonpartisan at this point. Just be honest with the viewers. That's what gets me most about them.